So my first foot, I was taking sheets of carbon graphite prepreg, which is basically carbon graphite fibers with glue enmeshed in it that cures under heat and pressure. And I laid up what looked like Dr. Scholl's insert plates. Same, you know, I would actually put my foot down, trace the outline of my foot, <laughs> and that was going to be my foot. And um, these would come out about eighth of an inch, quarter inch thick. And you could barely bend them, but with your body weight, they'd spring. And that was a pretty good artificial foot. I could run on that foot. I remember running down the hallway. Look at me. <laughs> I'm running, <laughs> you know. And every single foot plate ever built, I broke within an hour. You get on the tennis court and you, you know, go out for a, um, a big hit and you put your lot of weight on the toe and it breaks. Prior to then, all feet were basically just blocks of wood, steel. There was some articulation in the ankles with little tiny solid rubber bumpers, but you can't ask you know, a little rubber bumper to store very much energy. So the idea behind you know, storing energy really did come from a strong innate desire to not have to land kaplunk. So coupled you know, with knowing that the longer I can make it, the more energy I can store. I kind of looked at um, animals that were very effective at running, like horses, and finally the cheetah was the ultimate. And if you look at that long continuous fiber down the back section, it's actually storing energy and releasing energy through a continuum of, of phase cycles through its gait cycles when it's running. So it kept coming back to simple, simple, simple shapes.